In constructing the building, um, in particular this area, uh, which is the Foundation Engineering and Physics Laboratories, um, we wanted to make sure that it was a flexible space. In designing the labs, we took on um, the experience we'd had from our previous labs and we were able to build on that and come up with some innovative ideas. The space we wanted was from both a traditional physics laboratory um, right through to a more um, interactive tutorial space. We also looked around to see what was going on in physics education. We built our labs to, to fit in the um, latest developments in research. And so that's one of the reasons we put things in terms of hexagonal tables, so it wasn't just a flat space where somebody would lecture, but there would be, we could have students in groups. So we have a mixture here of both um, undergraduate and postgraduates within the building. It's a very generic training, so they pretty much move into all sorts of fields, fields that you wouldn't even think of. We have go from uh, very traditional physics right through to the uh, sort of modelling of interactions um, in essentially whole societies. We wanted to challenge these students, so not just do more of the same with different physics, but to say, um, let's get them into the research lab, the laboratory, so they can look at where their very fundamental experiments lead to in something more sophisticated. So I did a research project last summer on um, doing spectroscopy on green lasers. Electronic materials and the properties of those materials. I'm looking at the band gap of gallium arsenide and the effect on the band gap due to the bismuth content. We had a big spectrometer and we had set up the laser and all the optics and stuff and we were taking like really high resolution spectroscopy so we could see all the peaks in the laser light. It has applications in things as medical imaging, security imaging, there's very rapid quick scans you can perform, say, in an airport. There's a lot of opportunities here because it's a very active university, there's a lot going on. What students will gain, it's really those analytical skills. It's that ability to take very fundamental ideas and um, using that in a wider context. And I think in terms of uh, a fast-moving society where things change often, then those analytical and problem-solving skills, I think, will be in great demand.